Welcome everyone and what's currently going on with the iPhone 11 Pro. Right now it's 2022, it's almost at the end of the year and should you buy it right now, what's really going on? Well, here it is and as you can see I'm rocking this iPhone 11 Pro which is in the gold color, it's the 64 gigabytes and let me start by saying that 64 gigs is definitely not a lot, especially today, so what you should consider is looking for an iPhone which has at least 128 or 256 gigabytes regardless of which iPhone model it is. But when it comes to this iPhone 11 Pro, you can see that it is the gold color which makes it even more likable as a device in general. But I want to say that this device is a flagship. Of course everybody knows about that. Even though it's an older iPhone, but it, it was introduced as a flagship. So what that means is that everything that Apple had best going on for the iPhone in that year was implemented into this iPhone. So you're getting the best of the best, although it's a little bit older from a couple of years back, but you still are getting the best what was available back then. Because take a look at iPhone SE for example or iPhone XR. Those devices were released as a substitute or as a other thing that they could add to their lineup. They were not the main thing, even the iPhone 11 wasn't the best of the best in that year. And this actually was. Another thing which I like about the iPhone 11 Pro is that the design is really rounded on the sides and it makes it really comfortable to hold. Like we got used to the squared design and the rough edges since the iPhone 12 all the way to iPhone 14. I mean all of them have like a really sharp design which looks kind of nice, it's the iPhone 5S classic design but it's really not that comfortable to hold it in your hand unless you have it in a case but just like this I mean it's really comfortable to hold it and it's the last device, it's the latest one which has this design. So if you love this feel and if you want to get at this then the iPhone 11 Pro is probably the last option you have for this. You also have the triple camera setup which again was the first iPhone to ever have this. So you're getting the three lenses and uh, of course the wide angle lens, telephoto, regular of course, the cameras continually got better and better and more advanced, like more megapixels, more features, and they just got bigger and bigger. This one also has a really good camera setup, and for regular people, it's gonna be definitely uh, enough. Of course, for professionals and shooting videos, like the cinematic mode may be interesting for you, which you don't have it here, but yeah, for some regular photos, it's definitely going to be something that is going to be worth taking a look. One thing I can say here is that I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but as you can see, I bought this iPhone on eBay and the camera is actually a bit cracked or there's like a huge scar or I don't know what even that is, like a scratch or something, but I actually did not notice it. It was part of the photo, so I could not ask for a refund. I mean, I just wanted to quickly say that if you're ever gonna plan on buying an iPhone used from eBay, make sure to take a look at all the photos and all the pictures properly so you don't get in a situation where you would not want to be. Anyways, this was just like a side note. But other than that, you have all the good technology, like you have the notch, which also got removed with the iPhone 14 Pro, but on the newer iPhones, it's just a little bit smaller, it just shrank down a little bit, but it's still a notch, so you have the design, which looks nice, it's an OLED display front panel here, which is nice, the colors are really vibrant, so it's good for watching videos and the content and stuff, so it's definitely a good device, it's versatile, so I think that it's actually a good one right now in 2022. It's probably and definitely not better than the iPhone 13 Pro or 14 Pro, but one very important thing we need to take into consideration is the actual price. Like, you cannot buy this brand new from Apple's website, but you can get it used for some really good prices. It of course depends on where you live and where your location is, but um, on eBay it works pretty much across Europe, America and pretty much everywhere else. 
you can get it for i don't know like 400 bucks 500 depending on what capacity i mean pro max model is gonna cost you a bit more but that's also a huge device perhaps this is the one that you want to go with and yeah if you can find one which has a good battery capacity which looks kind of good for uh, for the time that it has been used for example my maximum capacity is at 88 percent so it's a pretty good device besides uh, the crack on uh, the back it could easily be my daily driver and i would not complain about anything i mean we all watched the uh, apple event where they introduced the iphone 14 and I said that it has the chip from the previous uh, smartphone, previous iPhone 13. So it's not really going forward that quickly with the chips and with the speed. So I don't think that you're going to miss out on the performance. We're probably at the peak smartphone and you're only lacking some new features like dynamic island and some bigger camera lenses and other stuff. But other than that, it's a very good iPhone, which I definitely think you're going to be satisfied with. This is just like my honest review, but I would also say, like I mentioned, that 64 gigs is not going to be enough, so make sure to look for a bigger capacity. Once you can find that, then you're definitely going to be happy about it. When it comes to buying some cases and accessories, of course, it's an iPhone, it has lightning cable and all the things, so pretty much everything's going to be, uh, it's going to be accessible to it. And if you walk into some random stores, I'm pretty sure that you're going to find many cases and many covers for it. I can see all the time. For example, for iPhone 11, it's really difficult difficult to find some nice covers. And there are, there's like a really small selection of them. For the 11 Pro, there is a lot more of them. I mean, it's not may, may not be that important to you, but I'm just saying all the things that apply to this smartphone. Like I said, the speed of the device is pretty good, so I wouldn't really worry about that. I mean, yeah, I would actually say to go ahead and purchase it, but it all depends on the price, so make sure to get the best deal you can, and you're gonna enjoy your iPhone 11 Pro, even in 2022 or 2023. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys later in the future videos.